everybody! Welcome back to my channel. So happy to see all of my Disney peaches today. And y'all, I am tickled pink for this video. It is a collaboration video. Um, uh, Nicholas over at Disney Merch reached out and was like, we're doing this collab. Do you want to be a part? And I was like, yes! I love these kind of collabs. Um, it's called the VIP 3. And so basically we have got five categories and we're going to give top three items in each category. So I'm just so excited. Um, let me read you the categories that we're going to be doing and I will be doing them in this order. Number one, top three Disney pins. Number two, top three Funkos. Number uh, three, top three lounge flies. Number four, top three Jim Shores. And number five, top three Disney wearables. So, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. So, uh, thank you to Nicholas. Um, you're a doll for inviting me. I enjoy stuff like this. So, um, I just love sharing all my Disney. So, y'all, if y'all are ready to see what my top threes are, you come on back. Okay, y'all, our first category is Disney pins. And y'all, you know what a huge, huge pin fan I am. So it was really, really hard uh, to pick three. But I picked three. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start out with the bomb, okay? And number one for me is going to be Belle. And you know she's my favorite princess. And this is my Walt Disney Imagineering profile. Y'all, it's stunning. Let me show you. So here is Belle. Um, listen, I had to trade 10 WDI pins for her. <laughs> That's how big a trade this was. But she is stunning. You can go and look her up. I mean, she is valued at very at a very high price. And I could I would have only gotten her through a trade. But she is beautiful and I love her in the blue dress. And um yeah, she's in my bell book. Um I keep her in a book because she is so valuable and I don't want anything to happen to her. But yeah, this is number one, and it's the Bell Profile. So the second pin that I'm going to show you is Beauty and the Beast also. And this is called the Cluster Pin from Walt Disney Imagineering. And it carries a hefty price tag also. So I got this years ago, and I've had it ever since. And I can't ever imagine leaving my collection. So... Again, this is the cluster uh, set from Beauty and the Beast, and it's Walt Disney Imagineering. So here is the cluster. And this one and the profile that I just showed you of Belle are limited edition of 300 from Walt Disney Imagineering. You see the card up here. Just beautiful, beautiful pen. Love this. I love that everybody's there. You know? Just stunning. My last one, frankly, I could have taken one, two, and three for my Beauty and the Beast. And I said, well, I'm just going to reach out to a different collection. And this is probably the last grail pen I've added to any of my collections. And I got this year before last for my husband for Christmas. Y'all, this is so rare, you can't even find it anymore. I mean, I just got lucky, and somebody had this for sale on DC Pen Trading. Um, uh, you can't, it's not even on eBay. And it's a limited edition of 100, y'all. And it is from the Disney uh, Mall from Japan. 
and it is Woody and Jesse and Bullseye. And the record player is actually on the backer card. I do have a Disney Auctions pin that's similar to this, which the record player is part of the pin, but this is not. This is just a two pin collection, and it is incredibly, incredibly hard to get and very valuable. So let me show it to you. So here is Jesse on Bullseye, and we have Woody, and they're dancing on the record player, which is part of the card. So these two pins are the ones that are just in the set. But y'all, oh my gosh, this is like a holy, holy grail. I mean, oh, when I saw it, I jumped on it so fast. So yeah, it's beautiful and it's very rare. And here's the back of the card and it's on its original card. That's another amazing aspect of it. You can see this down here, <clears throat> but gosh. I love this. Okay, so those were my top three Disney pins. And y'all, honestly, I could have picked a whole nother set of three. Um, you know, it just kind of depends on how the mood hits me at the time. And I could have chosen others as well. But those are beautiful and are, are my favorite pins. So... The next section or category is going to be Funko Pops. Now, I'm not a huge Funko Pop person. I don't actively go looking for Funko Pops. But when I see one that I like or uh, tickles my fancy, I'll get it. And I love it. I mean, I do love the ones I have. And I have downsized incredibly um so i'm very tickled for the ones that i do have so <clears throat> the ones that i'm going to show you now are probably my most valuable ones as well but i love them so we're gonna go with number one number one is my beautiful funko 2022 galactic convention exclusive and y'all let me show you this i'll take it out of the box as well but i'm gonna show you the box and everything because uh, the boxes are beautiful so i'm gonna start off by just showing you the box i love it you can see the sticker right here this is r2d2 um this is number 31 it's a diamond collection and it actually came with a bag. Um, and I love my bag. So, uh, but this is one of my favorite, if not the favorite, uh, Funko that I have. Let me open it. Okay, y'all, look at this gorgeous piece. Is it not beautiful? Look at all of the glitter all over our two. Just gorgeous. Here's the back. You know me, I'm a I'm a sparkly, glittery, sequency kind of girl. <laughs> I just love it. And again, this was from the convention. Just beautiful. And I'm gonna tell you also how much these on Funko.com, if you don't know. I imagine if you collect them, you already know, but on Funko.com, you can go and create your list of Funkos that you own, and it will give you the value of the Funko right now, and it's fun to see at the end, once you get them all listed, um, in dollar amounts, um, how much you own, like how much it's worth. So, um, it's funny to see it all together once you have them all in there, but I love this. Okay, let me tell you how much it's worth, okay? Okay, so I just looked it up on Funko.com, and this particular one is $250. Can you believe it? So, let me show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well on the screen, but I'm going to try to show you. So, there is the value the name and the value 
and 250 can you believe it um i'm gonna show you the next one because it's really not in any particular order because i love them all so much but this one has been a huge huge favorite of mine ever since i got it years ago and y'all it is called and you know i've told you i love uh what do you call them uh well this they're movie moments. This one is called Historical Moments. And it's not a Disney, um, but y'all, it's one of my favorites. And y'all, this one is called um, American History. It's Historical Moments. And it is Washington Crossing the Delaware. And it's number 11. So this is what the box looks like. And I'm gonna take it out of the box for you. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? I just love it. Love it, love it. I love history. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm good at remembering dates. I'm not, I don't mean it that way. But I love to hear about history. I love to watch, especially history in my area, you know, in the South. I love hearing about all of that. And um, yeah, it's just amazing. Um, I have some videos um, that I keep, DVDs, about um, history and I just love it so and 4th of July is my second favorite holiday behind Christmas and I just love it I love everything about it and it's shocking that I did not change out my background this year to uh, Americana look and because I've just gotten my background with my princesses in good and I was like I really don't want to take it down yet. So, um, yeah, I didn't do it this year. Okay, here it is, y'all. Let me bring it up close. Okay, y'all, here it is. Is it not beautiful? I love all of the water down here. You can see it's given the water effect. And um, they're in the boat. And look at the flag. Is it? Oh, you can't see it. Look, you see it better from the back. Look at the flag. I just love it. Oh, I love it, y'all. And look at Washington right here on the front with his foot up. It's just an awesome piece. This, um, this is one of my favorites, honestly. Um, I love it. I love the historical look of it. Just beautiful. I'm trying to see if I got it in frame, <laughs> but yeah, love this piece, and I've had it for quite a while, so now let me give you the value of it. So this piece is valued at $70, so it's a little bit, um, it has a little bit of value, it's not too much. But y'all, I just love it. And I love this kind of Funko, like movie moments. And this is obviously history or historical moments, but I just love it. Okay, my third um, one is uh, my second most valuable one. And this is a movie moments. You t I told you those are my favorite. And this one is Kiss the Girl. And it's 546. So here she is in the box. I definitely keep all of these in the box. <laughs> the ones that I've had for quite a while. Here's the back. And yeah love this this was for um the 30 year anniversary and if i didn't this is only was only at target and it is um 546 is the number on it so let me open this one up okay y'all let me ring it up and let you see them y'all look how beautiful they are I just love the scene. I love how close Ariel and Eric's faces are to each other. Um, love Flounder. Um, here's Sebastian over here. And then you have all of the fishies uh, with the water. Just beautiful. And then going around to the back. Here is the back. All of the pretty little 
greenery. And then, of course, the water. Look at that. It's so blue and beautiful. Just love it. And this particular piece, I just looked, is $130 value. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that was my top three Funko Pops. But, y'all, humor me just for a moment because I have one more that is an honorable mention because I had the castle with Walt. I have several that would be wonderful to mention but y'all i just fell in love with this one and it is my beautiful rapunzel and flynn rider y'all it reminds me so much of the one that i just showed you from uh ariel so let me bring this one out and show it now i didn't show the back of the box but look at that isn't that pretty it shows you uh, everything right there and this is for the DG 100th so I just love this um, and so this is Flynn Rider and Rapunzel in the gondola and y'all I just love this um, it's just beautiful let me show you up close okay so here is the gorgeous piece you even have Pascal right here um, you do have Flynn, his face, um, his head will turn, but Rapunzel's will not. And I love this. Here's some lanterns, and then um, here is a lighted lantern. And y'all look at the back. So y'all, here's the back. And um, again, it is just beautiful. I love the big old ship or boat. I just love all the work on it. And the bottom is blue for water. Um, I wish it had been a little bit more transparent like the one for Little Mermaid. But yeah, this boat is amazing. Look at that. I just love it. So yeah, this is an honorable mention because I love it so much. It reminds me so much of the aerial piece. Okay, so love the Funkos that I was able to share with you. Now, our next category is our lounge fly. So, y'all, you know what a huge lounge fly collector I am and how much I love the ones that I have. Um, so, this was really hard and um, again, I could have chosen so many for this particular collab, but I'm going with ones that I really, really love right now. And so, the first one I want to share with you is my gorgeous Belle sequins. And it's right here beside a bell. Y'all, look how stunning she is. Oh my lord. I absolutely love Belle, and the sequins are just stunning. Um, I got this in a box swap with my friend Pam at Coco for Disney, and y'all, I have just kept it right here with all my Belle stuff, and I just love it. I get to look at it every single day. I'm not going to go into great details with it, but um, it is beautiful. Uh, one of my favorite things is the zipper pull of Lumiere. And I just love the rose up here. It's just stunning. So, absolutely love this one. Okay, the next one is a newer bag to my collection. Y'all, I'm just in love with this bag right now. Um, I could have chosen either one um and you'll see in a minute what i'm talking about but i just love these um and it is from my cinderella collection i really really could have chosen easily the sequence bag um because it's absolutely drop dead gorgeous 
But y'all, this is the one that I'm choosing. Okay, this is the one I've chosen for number two. And it is my new beautiful Cinderella cosplay bag. Um, this was on Amazon. I'm not sure if it is still there. If it is, I'll put the link uh, down below for it. But y'all, she is absolutely beautiful. Just an amazing bag, honestly. Y'all, on the back is beautiful. I normally don't like a lot of stuff on the back, but y'all, this one is stunning. It's one of the prettiest things on the back I've ever seen. And here's the back of it. Is it not gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. But yeah, I just love it. I keep a little cardboard thing back here um, so that Cinderella's hair piece <laughs> will stay up. <laughs> um, but yeah, this and then the beautiful shoe um, as the um, zipper pull. And y'all, let's see if it continues down in the bottom. Those things are so hard. Those foam things are so hard to get out. But if you can see, <laughs> it does continue down um, showing the whole face of Cinderella. And y'all, this is beautiful. Love it. Okay, so that was one and two. So now I'm here to show number three of my lounge fly bags. And y'all, I always pick something from my Star Wars wall when I do a top three or top five or anything because it is a huge part of my collection. I am obsessed with Star Wars. And so, um, honestly, they mean just as much to me as my princess bags do and my sequins bags. Um, I just love them. I love them. So, the last time I did one, I chose Obi-Wan, which is a huge favorite of mine. I really love the OG type characters um, a lot. And this particular time, though, I chose one that I really love just as much. And it's like I've told you before, I could choose a dozen of my Star Wars bag in my number one spot. <laughs> so this time, I chose ah, Chewy Chewbacca. And y'all, I just love him. And y'all are going to crack up when I tell you. Um, Nicholas from Disney Merts, um, actually gave me this in a box swap last Christmas, was it? Um, somewhere like, or before Christmas or something. Oh, it was Hanukkah. That's what it was. It was Hanukkah. And so, y'all, I wanted this bag so much. Oh my goodness. I flipped when I opened and saw it. <laughs> I just love him. But love Chewy. He's just an amazing bag. If you have a Star Wars collection, you need this bag. And I, you can still get it on Amazon. Look at this. Oh, I just love it. The logo tag. He's got pockets. Even in all of this fur, he's got pockets. And I just love it. So awesome. And um, yeah, you can see his face really up close. He is just a doll. He reminds me of a teddy bear. But yeah, Chewy uh, rounds out the top three of my Loungefly collection. Okay, y'all, the next category is Jim Shore. So, y'all, you know I love Jim Shore. I love Cador de Force. I love other figures as well. So, I just kind of count them all together. <laughs> But the first one that I want to show you is one that I absolutely love. Again, I got this in a box swap, and y'all, she's beautiful. And this is my gorgeous Rapunzel. Y'all, this is the prettiest figure of Rapunzel I've ever seen. I, I just think the face, I'm big on the face. I don't like wonky faces or faces that don't even look like the character. But this one is absolutely beautiful. She's got the biggest beautiful eyes. 
and her hair is just absolutely stunning. This is from Inesco, which makes gym shores, but they also make couture de force. And that's what this is, a couture de force piece, which are like my favorite figures, really. And But let me bring this beauty up and show you, okay? Let me start out by showing Rapunzel's absolutely stunning face. Just beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then her hair. Let's go there next. Such beautiful detailing on the hair. And I love how it's kind of uh, braided so it's not so long. But even down to her little ponytail down here at the very bottom. It is just beautiful. And then y'all, the detailing on her dress. Look at this. The bodice is just beautiful. I love these beautiful puffy sleeves. And then look at all of the stones on here. They look like lanterns. So stunning. And then all of this beautiful detailing, the frill of her dress is just gorgeous. You can even see her feet down here on the bottom. Again, one of my most favorite, favorite, favorite pieces that I own. Just love her. This is Rapunzel. Okay, so the next um, Gym Shores that I'm going to show you, I feel like I'm showing three, but they're together. I they were bought separately, but I feel like they go together as a set. So that's why that's going to be, the next three are going to be just, one okay <laughs> so let me show you this set here um i just absolutely love um these are for christmas and these are my nutcrackers and these are jim shore and i had one and i can't remember which one i had but i was in a box swap for christmas or halloween i can't remember i think it was halloween Halloween. But anyway, I can't remember. But anyway, um, the Daunties um, had my name. And y'all, they are amazing. If you've not followed them, they're precious. And um, I always love watching their videos. And they gifted me in a box swap the other two that I needed. So y'all, I have just loved these ever since. And I kind of helped me to get her three together. But it is Mickey Mouse Nutcracker by Jim Shore. So here's Mickey's hat up here at the top. I love that. Look at his detailing on the ears. He's like a toy soldier. I just love it. Um, all of this detailing. He's standing at attention. His big old boots. And then you see the beautiful work down here with Holly and you flip it over and he is actually a nutcracker so see his little mouth come open i just love it look at the mickey gloves on i just think he is precious so that is the mickey nutcracker and of course i love minnie mouse she is a nutcracker also and the big beautiful pink bow same beautiful detailing just gorgeous and she has a little tutu a little dancing one and look at her dancing shoes and she's got the mickey gloves on and hers is like pink and look at the beautiful work on hers just beautiful i just love minnie mouse and again here's her little her little nutcracker mouth. I just think she's beautiful. Just beautiful. This tutu is everything though. Look, her little bloomers under there. I just love her. So that is the Minnie Mouse. So here's the last one. It is Donald Duck. And he's got a crown. Look at that. And 
he is standing at attention as well look at his feet oh i love it and his mouth you see his mouth moving down there he's his moves as well look at those sleeves i love it he has his sword and I love the detailing on his at the bottom. And there's the back. He's got the same little wooden piece. Oh, I just love Donald also. Okay, so I really, I just let that be my three because <laughs> I did show three of the, um, of the nutcrackers and of course my rapunzel is my gorgeous one um that i have here on my background but y'all i do want to do an honorable mention and i just have to because y'all i was so shocked at this and like i said it's a figure it's i don't it's really not jim shore i'm kind of cheating a little bit but it's only an honorable mention so it's not top three so um but i wanted to show y'all this because it's absolutely beautiful y'all i got this in one of my enchanted mysteries boxes and it is uh disneyland paris and the box is just amazing and it's um on the bottom it says disneyland paris and it's Phantom Manor, y'all. And it is a limited edition of 1500. And it's Kevin and Jody. So, I absolutely love this, y'all. While we're showing figures, I just want to throw this one in there. Um, y'all, this is the inside of the box. Look at that. Oh, that's the top lid. Let me get the others. Y'all. <laughs> look oh my goodness wow y'all this is incredible i'm showing you this because i will be displaying this with my gym shores this holiday season so you better get ready <laughs> y'all look at these things they are gorgeous they fit together like so or you can break them apart and set them separately. But y'all, this is beautiful. Look at this up close. Look at her face. Oh my gosh. Is this not amazing? And I'm gonna just move it up so you can see her. I'm trying to hold on to her tightly. Look at the bottom of her dress. And there's the base that it's on. You can see that part of Phantom Manor on the front. And then here is the other guy. I don't even know what you call these. He must be a grave digger because he has a shovel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that hat. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at his hand. Look at his outfit. And then as you go up, he is holding the shovel look at that and then here's the back i need to show you her again because look at that love that look look at this i love that and um it is beautiful yes. this, this part of his base so pretty oh my goodness i really love this so here she is. Isn't she beautiful? Look at the candelabra. You can see the flames leaning to one side. Look at her dress, the flowers. Look at the detailing on her dress. Oh my goodness, it's just stunning. And then you've got to see the back. Look at her veil in the back. The detailing for her dress. Oh, it's beautiful. So, here they are. Okay, so that was my Jim Shore slash figure uh, top three. And, um, gosh, I just love that kind of stuff. Oh, my goodness. So, moving on to our last category. And it is 
your top three favorite wearables. And so um, that took a little bit of thought on my part. <laughs> But thank goodness Nicholas put down, it could be anything. It could be uh, spirit jerseys, ears, um, uh, anything like that. Hats, socks, whatever. So I kind of thought, and this is what I came up with. So um, the first thing I want to show you that I like to wear, and that is a favorite magic band. And when I go to Disney, I love to bring my own magic bands, especially now that, you know, um, they've come up with all kind of stuff. And I just really like to have my own individual band. And y'all, I love Dooney and Burke magic bands. And they have some beautiful ones that come out and this was a huge favorite and I was only able to get the magic band in this print I wanted the bag so badly but never did get it and so sadly all I have is the magic band <laughs> but the, my favorite um or one of my favorite patterns from Dooney and Burke Disney Dooney and Burke are the balloons look how pretty the print is and this is the box and it says Dooney and Burke on the side and um yeah I love these I don't collect them as much as I used to I used to get every one that came out and then I realized I will never use all of these magic bands <laughs> so I've just only kept my favorites and this one was for the 10th anniversary so uh this is what it looks like in the box and it's a limited release, but that's it in the box. And I'm going to take it out and show it to you. I love when they started putting the slider. Very similar to how um, uh, the DVC slider is, except this is a gold tone. And it says Duty and Burke's logo on it. And I just love it, y'all. I still have the plastic on the... Um, uh, the slider because I don't want to mess it up but here it is up close I love the just pops of color that's on the black background and I just love it let me show it okay so here it is isn't it beautiful I just love the Mickey balloons and I love it especially on the black background and then the center puck is black and you can see the shiny Mickey head in there and then here's the gorgeous Dooney and Burke gold that real bright gold slider it is so beautiful I just love it and it's just um black on the background so so just absolutely love this band okay so the next um wearable that I'm gonna show you is a spirit jersey I don't have a lot of spirit jerseys I like spirit jerseys I've just I've just fallen in love with spirit jerseys um, last year sometime. So my friend Karen in at Karen's USA Adventures, Disneyland Paris Pickups, you know her, um, she had taught me into getting a smaller size. And y'all, I did and it fit perfectly. You know, I just, I think I didn't like the real bagginess of the larger size. So I went down a size and y'all, I fell in love. And this is actually a spirit jersey from Disneyland Paris. And it is beautiful. I think this was for the 30th anniversary. And last winter, I wore this all the time. If Brad and I would go out to eat, I'd just grab a spirit jersey and put it on. You can see it says Disneyland Paris, but it's just navy um, all the way down other than that. I don't like them to be crazy flashy, but um, yeah, I thought this was colorful and beautiful. And so yeah, I reached for this spirit jersey so much last year. So love the spirit jersey. Love it. So the last wearable and the last item that I'm going to show you um are my t-shirts um I you know every time I go to Disney I always seem to get some new t-shirts and I like to do them through the Etsy shop so that I can pick out what I, you know you go to a store and they just don't have the selection so I love buying from Etsy shops and um 
picking out the designs that I want for myself. And y'all, I have two that I absolutely love. The first one I wear here at home. Um, again, if it's in the summertime and we go grab something to eat or go do something, um, I'll grab this one all the time. Number one, because it is my favorite color, pink, and one of my favorite things, and it's Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Leia's on the front and it gives it that real 70s vibe. I just think it's adorable. And I'll wear this with either leggings or blue jeans and it's just plain on the back. But yeah, I just love this one. The other one I just love, anytime I'm going to Disney, this is going to be in my luggage because I just think it's adorable. It's perfect for Animal Kingdom. It's perfect for anywhere, really. Um, but I just love the colors. I love the mustard, uh, dark mustard color. But it has uh, my beautiful Mickey head with a bow and it gives it that little cheetah print. I just love it. But I love this color. Um, I just think it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite t-shirts and I love it. Okay guys, that's it. I finally finished. That's my entire collaboration. Um, that was a really a lot of fun. And I think the fun, fun part of it for me was picking out the things, the items, because you have to think, you're like, oh, you know, which one do I really like the most, you know, kind of thing. So anyway, it was just a lot of fun to do and I appreciate so much. Nicholas, you invited me to be a part of this collaboration. It was so much fun. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put Nicholas in his channel, which is the Disney Mertz down below. I'm also gonna put um, all the other channels that are gonna be involved in this as well. And be sure to check all of them out. I know they would appreciate that. And it's fun to see what people really hold close. And I just love to see what everybody else likes too. So just so much fun. All right guys, that's it. Um, if you have not entered my giveaway, it's running right here on this channel, be sure you do so. It is a theme giveaway and you're gonna love it. So be sure to look for that video here in uh, on this channel. And um, y'all, we'll see you again next time. Bye.